time to check in on the latest baby buzz in the entertainment world. That's right, Liz and Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Morning. Morning, guys. Morning. Morning. Big celebrity baby mm -hmm. news today. Lindsay Lohan is expecting. Yay! Yay! She's caught in the parent trap. Oh, 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 oh. I'll be here all week. So she made the big announcement on Instagram yesterday. She posted a picture of a onesie and said, coming soon. She has since confirmed the news that, yes, she is, in fact, expecting a child. Uh, and I'm very excited about this because as a millennial, Lindsay Lohan's a couple years older than me, but I grew up watching Parent Trap, Freaky Friday, Herbie Fully Loaded, like all those movies. And I've always rooted for her. And every time that there's like a slip or a fall, I'm always like, come on, Lilo, you can do this. And she's just living her best life now. You know, she got married. She seems very happy she had her christmas movie come out on netflix this past year and now she's expecting a baby yeah she really was like one of the biggest preteen tween stars totally. you know for for a lot of us growing up so to see her land in this like new chapter of her life she's she's looking a little more stabilized yeah, and happy and great. married and good good things for her i'm, I'm excited for her yeah, and it's really nice to be talking about somebody getting pregnant and not because of Nick Cannon, too. So, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ooh. good point. Yeah, the last I mean, you're not baby wrong. news we had on the show was Nick Cannon. So. Yeah, and any time before that. That, that is neither uh, confirmed or denied either, too, by the way. We don't <laughs> know oh, boy. Well, good for her. Yeah, good for her. Um, well, King Charles, we have his uh, coronation coming up, and there's been a lot of... I guess back and forth over who's going to play, who's going to, who, what's this entertainment lineup? What right. do we know actually here? Okay, so this thing's going to be so boring. It is on May 6th, and then the concert takes place on May 7th. Now, they're coming out and saying, it's rumored. This never happened. But they're saying that Elton John, Harry Styles, Adele, Spice Girls, all of them have turned down King Charles. So now we have a list of confirmed performers, and the only name I recognize is Andrew Lloyd Webber who is going to commission 12 new pieces to play for the Westminster Abbey Choir and Organ. And then they've got a baritone Roderick Williams, baritone Sir Bryn Terfell, opera singer Pretty Yendi, and then rumored, because those ones are all confirmed, rumored is Lionel Richie, which makes absolutely no sense to me because he's American. Yeah. And then the boy band from the 90s, Take That, which is famous for having Robbie Williams in it, who isn't that big in America, but he's not in it anymore. So it would be the boy band without the most famous member. Huh. That does seem, uh, well, no disrespect. I'm sure everybody has a bunch of talent. I can't sing for anything, but that's way less exciting than Elton John or Harry Styles or Adele. Uh, that's a yeah. flop. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I've told you what I want to see happen, Travis. I don't think Emily's heard this yet. Mm -hmm. What I want is Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to show up with Meghan Markle wearing some of Princess Diana's jewelry <laughs> so that they won't notice it when she walks in, but the press will, and then that gets everyone talking. Or the coronation is actually taking place on Archie, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's son's birthday. And so that either means that King Charles, one, doesn't know his grandkid's birthday, or two, intentionally planned it for the day of his, his grandkid's birthday. Uh -huh. So what I hope is they throw their own party and that Harry Styles, Adele, Spice Girls, and Elton John all perform there. Wow. Wouldn't, yeah. that, wouldn't that be something? Spicy. Yeah. I mean, it, to, to Travis's point, like everyone that's confirmed not saying they're not talented. I'm sure it will still be a level show but it doesn't quite have the same marquee value you know and I'm, I'm wondering if, if a lot of these famous Brits was it really just an unfortunate coincidence that all of them had schedule conflicts or does this kind of speak to the fact that like the royal family and the crown just mm -hmm. isn't isn't what it used to yeah. be Elton John released Candle in the Wind in honor of Diana anyone who thought that Elton John would play the coronation uh -huh. was not paying attention like yeah. that was one of, like that's not gonna happen like yeah so I think that's what a lot of it is, but that's all me just like making up drama in my head because obviously I'm American. I don't really. No, I, mean, I don't. I don't think you're that far off. We, the, the, the Brits do love their drama too. They're just very polite about it. <laughs> yeah. we it's like a soap opera. People are going to be glued to the TV watching this thing, and what are we going to get? Four fifths of Take That? Come on, they couldn't <laughs> even get Westlife to perform like. Seriously, you know, quite, know quite honestly, is. and 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 this is coming from someone who watched, you know, both of the princes, Prince William and Prince Harry, their weddings and everything on TV mm. live. I don't think I'm going to be glued to the TV for this one. I don't know. 
No, Unless no. Ruth Harry and Meghan Markle show up, and if they do, the entire time I'm going to be leaned in, like, what's going to happen? Yeah, <laughs> I'll do something. <laughs> I will be uh, checking in on all y'all's takes on Twitter about how it's going. Okay. I'm not. I'm not letting. That's fair. I'll let that happen overseas. <laughs> oh, I'll be on the sidelines and catch the highlights and recaps two days later. <laughs> Don't mm -hmm. worry about mm -hmm. that. Deal. Deal. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye yeah. And you